Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on one of the most sought after NBA reporters, Chris Haynes. We focus almost all our attention on the players, but the players aren't stars without the media, so it's time to give respect where respect is due. As always, remember to check out my past couple of videos on the new NBA sneaker rules and Rico Hines open runs. And keep an eye on the community tab of this channel for updates on upcoming content. Leave a thumbs up on this video and your feedback in the comments down below. I want to hear what you think about Haynes' story. On September 5th, Trailblazers point guard Damian Lillard dropped a Dame bomb. In a funny role reversal, the player dropped the sources tweet that reporters make a living and name for themselves by. Before sideline reporting for the Warriors, before interviewing LeBron James in the finals, before conducting exclusive interviews with DeMar DeRozan after being traded and DeMarcus Cousins, before hosting sit-down dining sessions, with the likes of Damian Lillard and Kevin Durant. Before countless tweets with sources confirming free agent decisions, Chris Haynes was just another guy from Fresno. We'll take it back further. Haynes played high school ball his senior year at Roosevelt High and continued playing in college at Fresno Pacific University in Sac City College. According to a Fresno Bee article, Haynes graduated from Fresno State in his late 20s as a physical education major with plans to become a PE teacher and a coach. He had no formal journalism training. In 2010, Haynes and his family moved to Portland where he would begin as a freelance writer. As the article puts it, the job gave him a credential to games but not a paycheck and working for minimum wage as a security guard despite a kinesiology degree left him frustrated and depressed. His wife provided a lot of motivation for Chris as he continued to pursue his goal. Haynes would spend four years at Comcast Sportsnet Northwest in Portland covering the Trailblazers. He began to make himself known there breaking league-wide news. Next, Haynes worked for the Cleveland Plain Dealer for two years documenting LeBron's return to the land. He also played the Cavs' Will Barton one one-on-one -on -one and scored a jumper on him. ESPN came calling in 2016 when they hired Haynes to cover the NBA champions in the Bay, moving him back home. All of this happened in less than a decade. Now Haynes, with the help of his family, propelled himself from security guard on food stamps to now senior NBA insider at Yahoo Sports, the same company that Adrian Wojnarowski left to join ESPN. So how was Haynes able to do this? His ability to build relationships with players was key in his success. Just look at his sustained relationships with Trailblazer star Lillard and CJ McCollum. Chris isn't your normal NBA reporter, said Quincy Pondexter, the Fresno native and seven year NBA veteran. He's someone that you can sit down and hang out with, talk about hoops. He's not really over the top with his being biased. He's just real in everything that he does. Haynes' background of growing up in Southwest Fresno and having to endure difficult circumstances financially, including the urban environment, gives him a real factor that relates to so many NBA players, execs, and agents that went through the same struggle on their way to the league. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. One of Haynes' best quotes from this article states, A lot of people don't have relationship skills where they can hold a conversation. They just want to throw a mic in someone's face and ask a question. But it doesn't work like that. In the business of breaking news, you can't only be asking, asking, asking. Now that's how you get an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with DeRozan, Cousins. That's how you get LeBron to talk about J.R. Smith's Game 1 blunder prior to Game 3 when he shut down everyone else who tried to ask him about it. Now Haynes gained respect by dishing respect. I believe he legitimately cares about the players he interviews and the personnel he talks to or else he wouldn't be Chris Haynes. Now his sneaker game. You get a good check. Why well, got you? You got on the same sneakers for every game this series. You ain't bold. You got listen. You got you only got one pair of sneakers. Yes, yeah. Why one sneaker? Why yes, one pair of sneakers? You ain't broke. You Chris Haynes. I mean, come on, man. I need you to switch it up. Maybe with his new contract, Haynes can invest in some heat for his feet, or maybe he'll just keep killing the game the same way. Same mindset, same attitude, same shoes. Hey, it's worked for him this far. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Who's a better NBA reporter, Woj or Haynes? I might have to drop a video on Woj. Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback in the comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle coming soon. JC3, out.